Hey what's poppin guys, Sizzle here, and this is a quick guide on how to get Minecraft 1.8.9 running and some very good mods that help it just run better. Uh, just kind of how I have it currently set up. It doesn't have every mod I use and everything, but it does have the best ones that you just need so that the game just runs more fluid. Uh, so first off, you want to go to your browser of choice and go to java.com slash download. The en is unnecessary, but this will get you version 8. Make sure this says version 8 of Java. Hit download Java. It'll get you a file to download. And you want to save that file. You can see you have a file like this, JRE 8 something, Windows x64.exe. Double click that. Uh, hit yes or type in a password, whatever your system makes you do. It'll then start running through the installer. Now you want to hit install. Just let it run. And once it's done, it just will be done. There you go, just like that, you've successfully installed Java. Just close that out. Now go to your launcher. In my case, I'm using the Prism launcher, and this guide assumes that you know how to use the Prism launcher. So if you don't know how to use that launcher, I made a video on it, which I will link in the description. Uh, make sure you kind of have that down. Either way, in the Prism launcher, create an instance, hit add instance. Go scroll down to 1.8.9 and find it right there. Then click Forge, find the latest version there, hit OK. You can change the icon if you want for the usual. All right, so we could go with like Forge, it's a common icon. Uh, then you wanna hit Edit, uh, Mods, and then normally for most modern versions, you can hit Download Mods, but because some of these mods are so old, instead you have to do Add File, uh, and find the current set of files that you have, or what you could do if you have the files downloaded to your desktop, like I do, is drag and drop all four of them in, and I will have links in the description to where to download every single one of these four files. So make sure you download all those jar files. They should be jar files. If it's something else, don't run it or anything. Uh, anyway, you have all that. Get a resource pack if you want one. You can either hit download packs to find one, or I myself have my own pack that I kind of created ages ago. And there you go. Uh, shaders if you want them. I don't really want them. And then all you have to do after that is go to Settings, Java Installation, hit Auto Detect. And you're going to see something 1.8.0 underscore 401. And it should be under the x68 common files. There is another one with slash bin at the end. Do not use the slash bin version. It will not work. Use the other one, hit OK, and then from here, you can close out of this, and you can double-click to launch, and the game will launch 189. You'll have uh, Optifine, Patcher, Better FPS, and Foam Fix all installed, and in my case, I also have my resource pack, and you'll see in one second that you know, it'll be up and running. There you go, you can see Forage working, working away, installing all the mods, doing that first-time setup. Uh, after the first time you install it, which for me, this is technically the first time I install this, since this is a fresh instance on Prism. Uh, but here, if you want to get rid of all this stuff in the menu, go to Settings, and where it says Essential, just turn that off. And then now you have your normal Minecraft back. Then you'll turn on the resource pack I like to use for 189. That is sec. Got to turn my FOV back up. Got to use my sensitivity back what I use. And uh, yeah, you can go configure all these mods. You also want to give it network asset access if it needs it. You can go configure all this stuff, but I'm just going to show high pixel, just the game running smoothly, as it just generally does. All right, you can see. There you go. I'm, I'm going around. I have my C to zoom. I can use my scroll wheel to keep zooming. F5 and everything works fluidly. And uh, yeah, we got 189 running. Completely normally, the FPS are completely fine. Like my FPS are hitting the max of what I set them to. And include my render distance because my computer can handle it, and my FPS as well to go with that. I do fast graphics because if you're playing you know, games like on high pixel and stuff, you just want to like min max your FPS. Uh, but yeah, you can see this is all up and running. If I go on to Skyblock, for example, you can see right. I have a uh, like everything all there up and running all looks completely fine the text is like all normal and all that and uh yeah 
Let me know if you found this useful, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great rest of your day.